Okay, I'm ready. My name is Francel. My height is five foot eleven, and I am currently two hundred and six point eight pounds. You know, before I decided to eat the fruits and vegetables and go on this journey, I was eating like absolutely terrible. I was eating all types of snacks, all type of sweet snacks. Sweets is my addiction. And so I was eating any and everything that was sweet. If I go to the grocery store and I see something that was like nostalgic to me, oh, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. And so I was not eating the best. And on top of that, while I was cooking the kids dinner, I was eating while I was cooking them dinner. And you know, that's real fat people. Sh like, <laughs> that's crazy. What else? I was eating like chips and crackers. I just was not. I was eating all super late at night. I did not care what I was eating, basically. I didn't care. I just wanted to eat whatever came to mind. I wanted to eat it. And that's what I did. I decided to go on this journey because I was feeling terrible. I was feeling absolutely terrible. I would wake up and just be sluggish all day. I didn't have no like desire to want to do stuff. I had to force myself to do stuff. You know, I have kids, so I can't just sit in bed all day. I got to get up, and cook them something. So I just did not feel good. My sinuses kept acting up. I kept getting back to back sinus infections. My body just felt so heavy and it was just like doing the smallest task was like a lot to me. So. I just, I was like, this is enough. And I started to have back pain. So it was like, enough is enough. When I first started, I definitely felt the withdrawals of all the terrible shit I was eating. And I kept having like some, some flashbacks, like not flashbacks, but like some pop-ups of like me wanting to eat a certain thing. But then like, as the days went on, it like slowly faded. I just feel, I feel good. Like, I'm glad that I decided to do this. Um, I don't wake up and feel sluggish. I could go up and down the steps, up and down the steps and like, not just be dead tired. Hold on, I gotta get up a stretch because my back is starting to bother me. Okay. All right. Oh. Bird off group tea. I haven't had this in a minute. I've been big my whole life. I've always been been fat. Um, it's not like I was a kid and I was skinny and then I got big, but for the most part, I was chunky and then just got bigger from there. Um, my highest weight was actually 270 pounds. And I hate it, absolutely hate it how my shirts fit. That was, I was always like, I just hated that it didn't cover my whole stomach, a lot of the shirts that I wore. Um, I didn't like looking back at pictures of myself that people took because it was just like embarrassing. Like, who is that? I didn't like it. My weight where I started 21 days ago was 221.8 pounds. And I actually have my weights. I recorded, I, I wrote down my weights as I lost weight on this journey. So my starting weight was 221.8 pounds. That was day one. On day three, I was 215.4 pounds, 212 pounds on day seven. Um, let's see, day 11, I was 210.4 and day 15, I was 208.6. And on day 21, I weighed in at 206.8. So with eating only fruits and vegetables for 21 days, I lost a total of 15 pounds. Yeah, 15 pounds, amazing. I was very proud of myself as I start seeing the scale go down. And like, that was just like a little accomplished that I needed. Even though like I told myself while I'm on this journey, I am not focusing on the scale. I'm not gonna let the scale determine my emotions because in the past when I was losing weight that's what would happen I would step on the scale and if the scale was the same as yesterday or if the scale jumped up then I'm like talking myself out of it like 
I might as well just stop now because it ain't nothing happening. I was diagnosed with three autoimmune diseases. I have lupus, I have an immunoglobin deficiency, and I have a lung disease. So with all the hundreds of hospital visits, the back-to-back -back doctor's appointments, um, the surgeries, I just decided that I need to do what I can control. I need to do what I can to better my health. So I decided to just, whatever I could do, eating healthy, doing this journey is going to help me. I was given these diseases. This wasn't something that I caused. So I'm doing my part. I'm doing what I can control with eating better, changing my ways, and so that I could feel better because that's all I want. I just want to feel better. Forty one days. I plan on doing this for 41 days because my birthday exactly is exactly 41 days from the day we started. And I want to be able to eat cake and I want to be able to eat some ramen or pho because my birthday is in the winter and that's just something that I love and I look forward to every year. I'll already be like 41 days in with already eating really good. I know they say it's bad to treat yourself with food when you lose losing weight, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right, I'm ready. All right, my name is Malcolm. I'm six foot one. And my current weight is 448.6 pounds. So I used to be having like a lot of thoughts about dying, right? Because the way I was eating was trash. I knew I was eating garbage. I knew eating all the, the, the snack cakes we were started buying. We started buying snacks for the kids and supposed to be for the kids. But here I go eating six seven oatmeal pies, um, french fries, chips, all the stuff I know for a fact I'm not supposed to be eating, I'm eating. And I'm knowing that every day that somehow my life is on the line being this weight. You see it all the time. Man dies at 33, man dies at 35 because he had a massive heart attack. Oh, my dad died at 37 when I was 10 years old. So all of that type of stuff was going through my mind before this and even though that was all happening, I was still eating bad. I'm still eating full plates of fries. I'm still eating full plates of food that obviously wasn't good for me. So I gained a whole bunch of weight. At times I would lay down and, and when I'm at night about to sleep and I'd have like a panic attack because I feel my heart palpitating. I start feeling my heart like beat faster after I done ate some terrible food or something, right? And I got I got worried. I got tired of worrying. I got tired of worrying. I started getting real exhausted with thinking about myself having a heart attack when I go to sleep and feeling like I would have to be apologizing to my my family somehow, even though I'd already be gone. I can't even apologize because I'd already be dead and gone. So before I started this, I was just having a lot of thoughts about how bad my weight is really affecting me and how terrible I was eating. It was crazy, right? Now that I started eating like this over the last 21 days, it's felt crazy. Like a lot of that thoughts that I used to have about my body and it was like shutting down on me or something happening is gone. It's kind of crazy. Like 21 days it took to, for my blood pressure to feel better for my, and just like my thoughts about myself feel a lot better. I don't feel as worried no more because I know I'm on the right path. I wake up with more energy. You know what I'm saying? I move around with more limberness now when I go outside and throw the ball with my sons. Like I feel a lot more limber. Like I could really kind of, you know what I mean? Get out there and do something. When before my body was breaking all the way down where I would go on a walk and feel tired now i don't even feel tired when we go on the walk anymore so now i'm feeling a lot better it's feeling great it's feeling so good I, I gotta i gotta keep it going so my highest weight was just now so i started this off at 472 point hold on look i wrote it down i'll tell y'all right now 
So my day one was 472 pounds, just flat. That was my highest weight and it felt the worst I ever felt. None of my clothes fit. None of the, my shoes don't even fit right. Like my feet got fat. I don't even understand that. Your feet get even fatter and now your shoes don't even fit right. I got pairs of shoes I put up, but look, let me tell y'all how much I weighed each day. So day one, I was 472. Day three, lost a gang of pounds already, 465.9, right? And then on day five, I was 457.6. And then day six, seven, and eight, it was the same way to stay at 456.2 for a few days. Then day eight, I came down. I was 454.6 on day eight. All right, and then it skipped because I didn't write the weight down because it started just kind of sitting around the same level. Day 17 is the next time I wrote it down. I was 451.8 pounds on day 17. And now on day 21, I'm 448.6 pounds. You know how much that is that I lost just now? It's a total weight loss of 23.5 pounds. Yeah, yeah, 23.5 pounds in 21 days. It's crazy. Man, um, sleep apnea, you know, bad sleep habits, about to die in my sleep from not breathing. They, I tested for sleep apnea only uh, four or five months ago, and they said I stopped breathing 187 times in, in through the night. So the sleep apnea was bad. Um, I was diagnosed with high blood pressure, had high blood pressure since I was almost a teenager. Then um, after COVID, I was, in, I was in the hospital with COVID for 10 days. I was diagnosed with pre-diabetes. They gave me metformin, all these type of uh, drugs for the insulin resistance. Um, degenerative disc disease, right? My back is tore up, right? I can't bend. I could barely bend over to, on my bed to pick up the remote. All of these things give me the reason. On top of what I said before about that heart attack, I remember when I was talking about that, about worrying about the heart attacks, combine all of those together. And it's like, it's time to do something or else you're going to die. That's what I, I look at myself in the mirror and say, Malcolm, what you doing? You're going to die. How long? I mean, it's supposed to be for 40 days, 41 days, right? But uh, with the way that I've been feeling and the way that it's going and just how far I got to go, Ain't no telling.